G'day guys and welcome back to Montage Sports. My name is Taj and today I'm going to be talking about the free agency period ahead and the trade period ahead. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. So pretty much, basically I am going to be talking about each team's um, trade target, who they're going to get in the trade period and who they should get. So if every team starting off with the Adelaide Crows, their tra main trade target is Jordan Dawson. He wants to come home and he's from the City Swans. He's a great, um, great runner. He's very fast, and he um, will add a lot of um, runoff halfback for the Adelaide Crows. He'll be a good addition to their young side. And he coming off his breakout year um, for the Sydney Swans in twenty twenty one, he will definitely be a great, a good, a really good addition to the Adelaide Crows. Now to Brisbane, I think Eric Hipwood did his knee, his ACL, like halfway through the season. He'll be out for the, most of most of the twenty twenty two season. So I think that Brisbane should um, go for a tall, um, maybe Levi Casbolt, who got delisted by Carlton at the end of the season. I think they should either go for someone like him or maybe a Mason Cox. He hasn't been getting, he hasn't been getting many games with Collingwood, and um, they ended up finishing second last. So if um, Brisbane can get someone like a Casbolt or a Mason Cox, that would be good. Um, Carlton, everybody knows that they're going to try and get Adam Chera. I think Adam Chera is going to Adam Chera is going to be going there. And um, he's from Freo, of course. Um, he's one of their best players. And it's going to be a massive loss for Freo. But, yeah, he's, he's a very good um, midfielder. And if Freo, if Carlton can get him, um, that will be a big boost to their midfield, like with Zach Fisher and Patch Paddy Coops. And they're also going for, they're also gunning for George Stewart, the Sydney Swans tagger. And he'll also be a good addition to their um, defence. Now onto the Pies, they finished 17th this year, and they are gunning for um, young Bulldog Patrick Lipinski. Um, they obviously got smashed in the grand final, and he did not get, um, he played pretty well the last couple of seasons, did not get a, I think he might have gotten a couple of games this season, right at the start, but I haven't really seen him at all, and no wonder he wants to go to Collingwood to get more games, and yeah, of course he's going to go to a, um, like a lesser team, a lesser um, experienced team, and he's gonna probably play well there. I think he will go there, and um, he's a good wingman who gets a lot of the ball. And they're also going for Nathan Kruger, Geelong swingman. I think he only played like two or three games for the Cats, and he wants to get more games at the Pies. Essendon now, they're going to be going for Josh Dunkley. Um, personally, I don't think Josh Dunkley's going to want to go because Western Bulldogs made the grand final this year, but. Um, Essendon are going to go from his great inside mid and um, a failed attempt last year. They tried to um, get him last year and it um, didn't pan out the way they wanted it to. Freeman on Dockers. Now, they want to get Jordan Clark, Geelong midfielder. He's a classy midfielder and um, he's, well, he wants to come home to Freo. He hasn't really asked if he asked to come back to come home to West Coast, but he really wants to play for Freeman and... If Adam Chera goes, which he about ninety percent chance he will, um, he will replace Adam Chera. Geelong Cats, um, they have done very well in the um, trade period the last couple of years, picking up Jeremy Cameron, Isaac Smith, and Sean Higgins just in the one one week, the one trade period last season. But this um, year, um, doesn't look like they're going for anyone. They don't really need anyone. But it looks like an exodus. There's a couple, there's a whole, whole heap of players that are either retiring, being delisted, or um, wanting to get out so they can have more opportunities at um, clubs that are lower down the ladder. And they've got a very talented list, but they're very old. So I think that they're going to make the finals in the next few years, but after that, they're going to drop way down the bottom. They've got a very talented list, but I think they've got like. Like a lot of their bet, like most of their best players are thirty years or older, or they just retired. I think Tom Hawkins is absolutely gun, but he's only he's still thirty four years old. He's probably going to retire in probably two to three years. Um, now on to the Gold Coast Suns, and Marbia Chole will be heading to, over to the Gold Coast. Um, he's a, from Richmond, of course. Um, great utility. He can play ruck, he can play back, and he can play forward, so he can play anywhere. He will be a good pickup for the Gold Coast Suns, and um, I don't know. Gold Coast haven't been really um, renowned. They usually stuff up their um, trade periods. They're good in the draft, but they are not very good in their trade periods. 
Greater Western Sydney now, no targets, but they have a lot of free agents. This means that they could have a massive exodus. Uh, if, um, GWS and Gold Coast um, had a lot of their um, good players from um, the past few years. They'd have so many good players, they'd be right at the top. But, um, like Gary Abbott for the Gold Coast, they've had a massive exodus of players. The list of stars that have come out of GWS and Gold Coast is just... It never ends. It's just amazing. It's um, very long. Hawthorne now, um, not really going for anyone, but they're going for Max Lynch um, from Collingwood, Tall Ruckman. Um, he hasn't really played many games, and Collingwood finished 17th, so I don't know. Um, Hawthorne, I think, will get him. They should get him if Col he's a free agent, and Collingwood um, probably won't really mind if they give up someone like Max Lynch. Melbourne Demons, they got, they're fighting Carlton for Adam Chera. Um, I think um, Adam Chera will probably go to Carlton, but if he decides if he, if he decides to go to Melbourne, it'll turn the trade period on its head. And Melbourne, I don't know if they will. They're going to have to give up someone for him, it's someone from their premiership team to the Dockers. And I don't think that any none of the players will um, want to go. That's going to be a massive thing. That's going to be a massive thing in the trade period. North Melbourne are going to get Callum Coleman Jones. From Richmond or someone like him, tall utility. He played pretty well this season, and um, yeah, I think he will go to North Melbourne as um, Robbie Tarrant's probably going to go to Richmond. Think he think he walked out of North Melbourne. Port Adelaide. Um, this is a surprise. This is I'm um, actually this was actually a massive shock to me when um, I was looking at all um the t trade targets. But Jeremy Finlayson wants to leave Greater Western Sydney and head home to Adelaide. Um. His preferred destination is Port Adelaide, and um, he, he he can play forward, he can play back, and he will be a great addition to Port Adelaide because they, they got Charlie Dixon, they got a lot of small forwards, but they don't really have many tools. Richmond, as I said before, Robbie Tarrant's going to go. I think he walked out on the on North Melbourne, and he is a massive, he'll be a massive addition, he'll be a massive player for them, and he'll be a good key backman as David Asprey and um, Basho Hawley. Um, Retired and they are big outs for the Tigers. St Kilda, and this is going to be one of the biggest trades. This is going to be one of the biggest stories of the trade period. But they are trying to get Ben King, the Gold Coast forward. Um, tall forward is very good. He wants to come home, and if he goes to St Kilda, he will be reunited with his um twin brother Max, who's also a tall forward. And if you see. Both of those in the same forward, both of those players in the um, same forward line. So Kilda might be a powerhouse next year or in a couple of years' time. That will be a massive, massive thing for the St Kilda Football Club. Sydney Swans, they are not really going for anyone. Um, They don't really do much in the trade periods, but I think I got Tom Hickey last year. He, he proved to be one of the trades of the season, which is a massive surprise. But they're going to be losing probably Jordan Dawson and George Stewart to Adelaide and Carlton. And they're not really going to be doing much. I think they're going to have, they did really well in their trade period last year. And that is one of them that played a massive part in why they played so good this season. West Coast Eagles now. Um, Tim English and um, from the Western Bulldogs. The massive utility. He can play down back. He can play in the ruck. And he can... Play up forward, very good up forward. He wants to come home, and most people think he's going to go to Freo, but um, I think that he will go to West Coast because they, they need it. Um, Ruckman, Nathan Vardy left, Scott Lysett left a couple of years ago, and all they have got is Nick Nat and Oscar Allen, who's um, Oscar Allen's good forward, but he's not the best at a in a Ruckman. So if Nick Nat and Newey and Tim English become a Ruck Ruck duo, like Max Gordon and Luke Jackson at Melbourne. That would be insane. Um, and also, Sam Petrescu Seaton um, from Carlton, um, backline, backman, small backman, and um, he wants to come home as well. I think he's from Halls Creek um, up the top of WA, and he wants to come home. He wants to play for West Coast. He doesn't want to play for Fremantle, and that he's going to be coming here. And finally, Western Bulldogs, they're not really going for anyone. They made the grand final, and... Um, I mean, they're runners up, but they still made the grand final, and they have lots of they have lots of signing to do. They've got lots of un lots of um players without a contract, and if they don't start signing their players, they're gonna have a massive exodus, and that will be bad for their club, and they're probably gonna go downhill.
So now I'm going to go over the three biggest trades if these if these trades can happen. Number one, Ben King to St Kilda. As I said before, he him and his brother um, Max King will be um, massive for St Kilda if they if they're in the same forward line. They are going to be brilliant because they know how to play with each other. They've played with each other in the cup, the tack cup, and they were a massive power key forward powerhouse. Number two, Tim English to West Coast. If West Coast can pull this off. That would be good. I don't think they're going to make the top eight this year, but if they rebuild around um, Tim English, Nick Nanui's, I think he's about 30 years old, and in a couple of years he'll probably retire. And Tim English, I think he's like 22. They can build if they can build um, their midfield around Tim English. That would be um, massive for the club in a couple of years' time. And number three, pretty easy. Um, Adam Chera to either Carlton or Melbourne. This is going to um, this trade. Um, he should go to Carlton. I think he should go to Carlton. But Melbourne coming off the Premiership, he will probably want to go to Melbourne if he do, if he decides that he want, doesn't want to go to Carlton and he wants to go to Melbourne. Um, it will turn the whole trade period on its head and um, it's going to cause a massive war. Um, there might be like four teams in a trade if um, in a trade if Adam Chero wants to go to Melbourne because none of those um, Melbourne players, even the players who didn't who weren't in the Premiership side. Will want to go to another club, especially at a club like Frio across the um across the um country. They don't want to go from um living at home in Melbourne to a um like to west coast of Frio. They will not want to do that. And those are the three biggest trades. Hope you enjoyed um watching and see you in the next one.